Hello, I'm ABX Toyka, and have you ever noticed how when most people build things in Minecraft, they try to go for a similar enough look, and this is because there's just like kind of a conventional way of what looks good and what doesn't. So, although this is awesome because people can go in here and look at, oh yeah, look at those nice towers, Toyka, or look at that great TNT block, or the panda or something, I think the downside of it is, is that most Minecraft builds get roughly samey after some amount of time, and this isn't something that I think is necessarily the best thing in the world, so I thought, you know, in real life, there's art that isn't necessarily meant to look good, but it's just meant to blow your mind, why don't we have that in Minecraft? So today, I'll be showing you how how to make some mind-blowing minecart art in Minecraft today. Hopefully you all do enjoy it. If you do, like the video and let me know because it helps out the channel and let's know you do like this sort of video. Where again, I'm going to be showing you how to build something that isn't conventionally beautiful, but it will blow away the minds of anyone who comes to look at your world after you've built it. So, is that enough of a sales pitch? Let's get straight into it. So, this is best done in creative. It's obviously a lot easier to do there, but it can be done in survival. It just takes a lot of time, so we won't be doing it in this video, but if you want to do that, that's like a thing you can totally do. And uh, yeah, let's just get straight into showing you how this does work. So, it's best done on console because I believe this is a lot easier to do on console but on PC you can do it with thousands or tens of thousands of minecarts so you know there's ups and there's downs whereas on console the limit's somewhere in the 200 range uh, but yeah what you want to do first of all is you want to get some space really high in the air above pretty much nothing else or you can cover one of your existing builds you know your kind of choice here uh, but in our case what we'll just do is we'll go really uh, you know far away from any build we've got so just over to here I guess uh, actually wait wait a better idea what we'll do is we'll build over from the panda and like up from the sky here just so we really are in the middle of nowhere and we can kind of have our minecart art be free Fully. Again, I think it would be a really cool idea to include this on top of something else, but in this particular case, we'll just do it in the middle of nowhere so we can kind of get a better kind of feel. So, yeah, with that said, now we've got our stone up in the air. You want to have a two by two stone square. So, one, two. One, two, easy, easy little square, I'm sure everyone can understand that. And then you want to place rails going around in a full circle. The reason for this is because when you have a rail in a full circle, for some reason there's no limit of like how many minecarts can be in a track. It's just when you put two minecarts on a track, they'll try and push each other away like this. So when you've got two minecarts, they'll just keep pushing forever, and then you can add a third one to the system, and then it just makes more pushing, and a fourth one to the system, and you kind of get where this is going. Because there's no limit to how many you can place on the system, they'll just keep trying to push each other around more and more frantically. So six, seven, eight, etc. And what we can do is we just sit here and we wait till we get to the max uh, minecart limit on console or on PC you can go for as long as you really want to and yeah uh, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll fast forward the next bit here but you'll see just how easy it is to just slowly get to the max minecart limit and have it all exist in a 2x2 space. And just like that, the max number of minecarts has been reached. So with a couple of minutes of patience and uh, getting that timing just right, we have now got the max number of minecarts all existing in a 2 by 2 space. And the cool thing about this, and this is where, you know, the fun, if the fun happens, the cool thing about this is even this by itself, this 2 by 2 space minecarts, I think is a really cool source of art, because just look at that. That is something you cannot replicate anywhere else in Minecraft. It's, you know, like 200 minecarts all bumping into each other all at the same time, and it actually creates a slight source of lag or frame rate drops, or whatever you want to call it, uh, when you go near it. So yeah. Basically, problems start to happen when you go near this, but the fun thing comes when you start to do other stuff with it. So, I, I'm going to save here just so I can show you different ways without having to do the same thing again. And I'd recommend you do the same if you want to try and find the perfect minecart art first. But basically, now what you do with this can kind of determine what kind of minecart art you get. So, the most basic form and the one you might want to do if you're just going for easy and you're seeing how it works is just removing all of the blocks underneath it. So, you've got to be really fast here. Maybe just remove all four of the blocks. They'll all just start flying. And you get this really cool, just kind of jumbled minecarts everywhere. And again, I, although I think this is kind of interesting, it's it's more just to show that, oh yeah, we just dropped 200 minecarts everywhere, and it's really, really cool to look at, especially because, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, if anyone tries just sitting around in one, it won't sit on the pile, so it's kind of like, uh, you know, a game of, like, um... Is it connects? I know what it is. But yeah, but when you've got, not connects, <laughs> kaplunk maybe, but yeah, when you get lots of stuff in the same thing, you just get this giant, like, uh, tower, and I think it's kind of striking to look at. It's not the most amazing thing you can do with 200 minecarts, but it is something that even by itself, the easiest thing you can do with this is still really, really cool to look at. And if you just cover, you know, one of your builds in this, it's going to be the sort of thing that makes people turn their heads. Again, not necessarily looking the best in the world, but it is going to blow a few people's minds. However, uh, I have a few other ideas uh, on how to make it look even better than this, and let's go to one of them now. So that may have crashed my world going into a second time, but we're back here now, and I wanted to show you another thing you do. So yeah, that's the most uh, easy solution of just like, oh yeah, let's just, uh, you know, kind of remove all of it and see what happens. It kind of gives you a splurge of minecarts, and I think by itself this is amazing, but you can actually kind of direct the minecart flow if you want to make a bit more of an interesting art. So for instance, uh, what you might want to do is you might want to, uh, so let's place some rail here, is you might want to kind of direct it all into one direction. There's a few ways you can do this, but the best way is to kind of surround the thing by walls. So we go like this, for instance. 
you can't actually place blocks in any of the spaces around it because the minecarts they kind of expand out a little bit further. But if you kind of just build minecart, uh, you know, like a wall around it, so they can't go anywhere but in one direction, then you can kind of get a more a, a taller flow, and you can get kind of a more interesting thing. So yeah, with that said, uh, place the final blocks in the corners where we can. And then kind of uh, just place the directional thing. And even what I'll do here actually is I'll include a powered rail. So uh, if we go up to here, we grab ourselves a powered rail. And if we put a powered rail in there, then they're going to go flying off. And it's going to create a bit more of an interesting thing. So yeah, let's place our redstone torch. And then finally, the, the big risky bit. We want to remove this block so they just kind of go everywhere. And eventually find this minecart. So also, might want to place some blocks there. And a block there if we can we can't <laughs> and yeah let's let's do it a little bit risky because again it's that's so unpredictable when you've got that many minecarts but they'll slowly start to all slide off and start to go like this so uh yeah you start to slowly build a wall that's right we're building a wall and we're making the minecarts pay for it and uh <laughs> as you can see it gets this really really cool effect as we slowly go onwards and actually it's, it's starting to look like almost uh, a beautiful art here and because they're all going on the exact same width besides the ones that are slowly starting to fall off uh you do get this really really cool tower and people are going to question exactly how you did this like, no one's going to understand how you made <laughs> a tower of this particular proportion. And now they're actually going to start knocking into each other. And we're going to start to get really, really strange towers. And because minecart physics and the way they're meant to stand on each other isn't something the game really programmed entirely correctly. Also, look, <laughs> they're even knocking over each other right now. Uh, th this wasn't something that was programmed entirely correctly. Like, they, minecart physics aren't really that great of a thing. Then, yeah, as you can see, it's going to get more and more thing. And if we actually push them along, which we can decide to do. Or even if we could place a minecart in that last space. So we remove this block right here now. And then if we could place one down there, which is going to be tricky, then you can make this even better. Obviously, the taller you go, the taller, you know, this art you can make. Uh, but the thing I really like is if you do, uh, you know, this is like kind of a one-time thing. If you try to climb this from the inside, it will slowly kind of break it. So, uh, yeah, I'd recommend climbing from the outside. But you can kind of have a one-way tower that slowly breaks as you fall, which I think would make a great mini game too. So, we're showing to climb to the top. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. no. <laughs> okay, we made it to the top, and there you are. Uh, as you can see, just doing that destroyed a lot of the minecart art stuff. And again, it's it's something that I think would make a great mini game as well as a great art piece. So this is, uh, you know, one of the other things you can do. I think, uh, you know, the other sort of solutions are just throwing it along a build. So, for instance, we've got a few of these little... Oh, wow. <laughs> this is just kind of a wreck right here. Um, but if you have the other things you can just decide to do is, uh, you know, have it go into, like, multiple directions at the same time, but kind of make, like, a diagonal flow. Again, by, by controlling the flow of minecarts, you can do a whole bunch of cool things. And one of my favorite things is to have minecarts go on minecarts to make a minecart track out of minecarts. And although that seems like it's a really complex thing, it is, uh, you know, one of my favorite things to do here. So, yeah, minecart art. Hopefully, even this, uh, you know, kind of brief look into what you can do has inspired you in some way. I'd love to see what you want to do of this sort of thing. Because, again, I feel like Minecraft, uh, Minecraft builds, you look at them and you're like, oh, yeah. This is, uh, you know, it looks nice, I guess. But when you look at something like this, you just go, what what, what even happened there? You know, you, you WTF at it. And that is something that is, uh, you know, there's, there's no value you can place in that besides... Uh, question mark and a question mark is everyone's favorite value but with that said I hope you did all enjoy today's video showing you some minecart art um, again uh, maybe inspiring you in some way please do tweet me if you have if you do decide to build anything with this or let me know in the comments uh, otherwise likely if you did like it share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here I make videos like this one every single day on my channel and if you subscribe you'll see them daily on your homepage or at least your homepage will have a higher chance of seeing them because most people's homepage aren't based on subscriptions but yeah uh, besides that uh, if you want to see any of the other things I've made in this world including the giant tower <laughs> or the DNC block or the giant creeper they're, they're all told in other stories in the world and uh, yeah you can see those daily on your homepage if you subscribe but thank you all very much for watching because I'll see you all in the next video goodbye